I was asked about my, what my vision is for the Middle East, and I wrote an article in the Jerusalem Post almost a decade ago on the cooperation uh, between the Middle Eastern countries to rebuild Gaza like a Shanghai on the Mediterranean or a Singapore. And certainly it could be one of the most beautiful and remarkable cities uh, of, the new, um, of the new Middle East and a hub of the Mediterranean basin. Uh, the, the relationship between Israel and its Mediterranean neighbours now is better and better and that will, uh, can open up incredible opportunities. The possibility for a canal from the Mediterranean to the Red Sea providing competition and providing access uh, between the two different parts of the continent and it could be an incredible infrastructure project between Israel and Saudi Arabia and uh, Oman and India and China so that the uh, the a vision for peace in the Middle East is lacking no uh, no no uh, imagination there are many prospects asked what my vision for the Palestinians are in the in Judah and Samaria in uh, in Israeli territory I would I would say that just like in the historic books where eventually our nations married each other that may eventually happen just like the Canaanites and the Philistines and the Jebusites and the other nations uh, integrated into into Israel and uh, and into in, into and just as the entire uh, twelve tribes of Israel, so to speak, integrated and became Jews, uh, so too there may in the next hundred or two hundred years be a an assimilatory process, and that may even happen in the entire Middle East. That maybe our boundaries will be broken, and maybe we will see the children of Abraham truly as a family that one can intermarry. I don't know uh, to what extent that will happen because there is something virtuous and something very interesting about small families and tribes and the way that information of the infinity is fil filtered through small groups and communities and through identities. I think that this is really the, uh, the uniqueness of the networks of small groups is actually the truly brilliant nature of humanity and one should cultivate the small groups and not try to create large entities and empires but rather s small quality highly dynamic within their own with their own limits and, and, and rules I think the important thing is to view the Hebrew civilization as an axis which which can assist if it is used as an axis as it was over a thousand or two thousand years which brought incredible achievements and it is not rejected or preserved within the Jewish or the Judeo-Christian paradigm but rather it is shared throughout the region. I believe that the Arab states would benefit from it. That our sh And I believe that the openness of the Arab states to doing business and to trade and to flights will invariably develop into the learning of the Bible. It's Bible groups. I expect that there will be a step in the future of Islam where they invite rabbis to the mosques to teach them the Hebrew Bible. And when that happens, it may be sooner, it may be later, but the five books of Moses is very important to the Muslim world. And when that happens, and when our psycho structures merge in the region, sooner than later, because the Arab edge bought them by oil may be over, so better sooner that they maximize their imagination. And so that my vision for the future of the Middle East is an incredible one. 
of great cooperation, of historic, of biblical, of patriarchal vision. I believe it's completely doable.